David Lyles, this is the RSL Show, and Keith, my co-host, you're back again, how are you mate? Uh, very well, thanks David, and yourself? Oh, pretty good, another busy week? Uh, my word, yes, it gets closer to Remembrance Day and Poppy Appeal and all of those things. Yeah, you'll uh, be flat out. Tempo ramps up, and mm. I don't know if I thanked you properly last week, I'll do it, do it this week, get to thank you so much for putting the program together for getting our guests. Well, we had Sharon in, and unfortunately she couldn't be here tonight, yep. um, we'd like to get them back in for a couple of weeks at a time, but... We've got some proxies. <laughs> uh, well done. So we, we heard uh, a, a, a snippet from the Porsche last week. Tiny little squeak. Didn't give, Hello. She Hello. Didn't, get a, didn't get a word in, but uh, would you like to introduce our guest? Hi, yeah, well, certainly Porsche, Porsche Ryan, uh, XRAAF, mm-hmm. and um, Ollie, Ollie Andrews, Andrews. Who's, who we've had in here before. Yeah. Ex-Army. Welcome, yeah. welcome team. Yeah, thanks. And your, Thank you. your, your story right. Or part of the story, right? Yeah. And um, so, good to talk to you. Shall I get our regular announcements out of the way? I was just going to say, well, to hand over to Keith, he's going to do some plugging. Yep. So, uh, the phone number at RSL State Branch at Torrens uh, Training Depot, Torrens Parade Ground, as most people know it better, is 81007300. Our email is admin at rslsa.org.au. Our website is rslsa.org.au. And we're on Facebook, we're on Twitter, and we're on uh, uh, Instagram. So, much of what we talk about, you may well find uh, on our website or on the uh, uh, on the social media so uh, uh, appreciate people supporting us liking us and doing all that we're getting a really uh, lot more volume on now because uh, ian smith the chairman of the anti yes. day committee is putting on a lot uh, and good on of, ian too a lot of historical items he's found yeah. things that i never knew about he's they're very good snippets of information and it's actually Really interesting to yes. read them, and yeah, they're just long enough that they just grab you. Oh, that's interesting, and then it's over. Yeah, so, no, no, well, well done, Ian. Thank Excellent. you, to Ian Smith, and yeah. uh, certainly he's getting us um, thousands more viewers. Uh, I suppose yeah. viewers. That's good. Yeah, well, they, <laughs> yeah. well, they are. They're looking they, at the they screen. Give a view. Yeah, they're looking at the screen. So, uh, uh, encourage people to give us a like uh, and to share our posts. That'd be uh, that would be great. A uh, few of the events coming up, of course, sixth of November, RSL. Remembrance Breakfast at the Adelaide Town Hall. Tickets are $60. People can book those through our website and uh, uh, away we go. Should be good. Last year was the inaugural um, Remembrance Breakfast and it was very well received. So uh, I'd like to see more people along uh, this year. The Veterans Walk uh, to raise funds for uh, Trojan's Trek is on the 27th of October. So uh, that's also on, uh, on our Facebook at the moment. I haven't quite got it onto the website. And, of course, the uh, RAAF Edinburgh Air Show on the 9th and 10th of November. Mm. That'll and be very interesting. It's, uh, that's through Ticketmaster. It'll be very professionally run. And, and just while we're talking about the, the RAF, bleakly, um, just our thoughts go out to um, Greg Weller, Group Captain Greg Weller. His young son is back in hospital again. Oh, dear. Uh, yeah, so um, they're actually up in Brisbane at the moment. And so um, let's hope he gets better. Yep. Josh. Young Josh, yes. We've had him in here, very quietly. He was, yeah. Just sat there while his dad was talking a couple <laughs> yeah. of times. Rightio. Let's give our guests a, a chance to speak now. So. Yeah, Portia yeah. and Ollie. How are you? Coming along. Rep- yeah, good. Come I'm along. Good, thank you. Representing Excellent. Story Right. Yes. Mm. Who's going to go first? I'll let you go first, uh. Portia, if you want. <laughs> sure. You're good at that, aren't you? Always. Yeah. So um, I guess today we've come in to talk about our networking Pathways event that we're holding with Soldier On. It's going to be a massive launch um, on the 3rd of October. So essentially in a couple of weeks' time, really, that we're holding at UniSA. Um, it's going to be a big event. Do and it, it's, it, it's, it's, it's in conjunction with the university and held in the uni- one of the university yes. campuses. Yeah, yeah, so it's held uh, at uni- UniSA City West, so the one down on Hindley mm-hmm. Street. Yeah, oh, okay. Down the end. Um, yeah. yeah. I think... We put out. We've got spots for about sixty to eighty veterans to come along and meet employers, like soldier on pledge employers as well. Okay. Um, a third of those tickets are already gone, so if you want them, to get in pretty quick. Mm. Yeah, Keith, would you put that up on the on the? It's already up on the RSL Facebook. I think you've shared it a few times because we've had it on Facebook and Instagram. And that's excellent. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Where I can, I get it onto all of those. We helped soldier on out 
oh, it's probably two years or so ago, they took the Memorial Hall and held mock interviews, for want of a yeah. better word, with uh, potential uh, employers. And there was a big crowd there. So they, they, I, they, I remember, they do it well. I remember way back in the day, we were at um, the Clips Award, it was, it wasn't that day, and we spoke to Janan. Um, oh, yes, from Soldier Janan Bray on. Gee, from Soldier yeah. On in those days, yeah. yeah gee, that's a and we sort of had a bit of a interaction with We've them We've always been close. Yeah, well, mm. it's good. We started off very close to Soldier On, and then personalities, or people changed, they left, yep. and we employed some of them. Uh, they moved on. Uh, I believe they've got a new person now. Um, yeah, they they do. Her name's Linda McCabe. Right. Um, she comes from a long line, uh, background in, I guess, not-for-profits and employment sectors. Okay. Um, her job's going to be focusing on the education and job Put development on. for veterans coming through. Right. But she's all still going to support all the soldier on events and everything like mm. that. And that her position is going to be officially announced on the 3rd of October as well. Great. So w- what's the format for these? What, what do people do? Yeah, so it's kind of like speed dating for networking, right. if you will. Yeah. Um, everyone's <laughs> mingling around in, in the room. You've got... Um, members of Soldier On's pledge companies. So they're mm-hmm. companies that have pledged to support Soldier On's values and, you know, with a view to employing veterans and everything like that. They, yeah, the veteran will come in. It's pretty open, open air. The last one I attended was held at the Paynham RSL. So out the back there, all the um, store holders, for want of a better word, were stacked around the edge of the room. Lots of open space for everyone to sort of collate and mingle and then go off and have a chat to people as they needed. We should say families can come along to this as well with this yeah. free oh, event. Yeah, so, definitely. Yeah, it's not just uh, veterans that we're opening the doors to, it's their families as well, which will be which, great. Which is mm. always good. You need the support of the families as mm. well. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So the idea is for people to find out a bit more about the civilian world or uh, do you hope that jobs come out of it or is it – I use the word mock interviews. Yep. Maybe I've been wrong mm. there. Um, well, it's interview practice, I suppose, which is the best. Can't way. hurt. Yeah, yeah, exactly. If 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 you've gone straight into the military, you probably haven't had to do a, a job interview as we know them today. That's it. Uh, or you you have to not just you've got to sell yourself. You've got to ask mm-hmm. questions of your employer, a potential employer. I th- and your resume has got to be up to scratch. Yeah, which is yeah. yeah. Ah, That's where, so we where story right comes yeah, in. Yeah, for sure. To a point. Yeah, and yeah. definitely on the part about selling yourself as well. Yeah. Um, we find that's one of the hardest things through our workshops, trying to impress upon the guys guys and girls coming through, is more me, less we. Because, mm. as you all know, yep. being in defence is very team-orientated. Team yes. And yes. when the reality is, when you come out into civilian sector employment, a lot of them don't really care what the team's achieved. They only want to know what they can get from you exactly and why right. they're going to throw money at you for a yeah. job. Yeah. Yeah. So, so should the people be saying to the prospective employer... <laughs> I'm a team player, I can fit in with your team, I can take the team to places, or is that a bit too presumptuous? But I love to lead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That old cliche. Yeah. Yeah. I oh, think you need a mix, really, don't yeah. you? You need to be able to say that you can work in a team environment and you can work with a whole different range of personalities, but also what you're specifically going to do and bring to the company or organisation yourself, whether that's leading or whether that's another special skill. <clears throat> and I guess you also need the um, the wherewithal to identify that you can you can lead if necessary. You can actually, you can actualise situations, which may have already been done by the group, but you mm. have actualised them or, or you have realised what's going on and that's what you've got to sell. I can do this. Even though we did it, I can do it. Yeah, yeah. yeah definitely. Mm. And it should be pointed out, the leadership skills, no matter what rank or service you were, absolutely, like yeah. above and beyond pretty much anything that a civilian yeah. sector employer will have. Yeah. And you exactly. could be saying to that uh, p- prospective employer, look, you can trust me, I will get the job done. You will be able, You won't have to look over my shoulder all the time. You can tell me once, or instruct me. I learn yes. quickly. I will be able to handle that um, with a minimum of fuss. Look, it's like my wife. Every time she says, "You know, can you mow the lawn?" I say, "Don't ask me every six months. I'll do it." Yeah. <laughs> and and she just want to know, can you mow the lawn? Right. And, and you could say, "Yes, I do. I can. I know how to start the mower." <laughs> I just choose not to. Yeah. No, I'm I'm busy. So you haven't got the sheep yet. <laughs> No. 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 no, no, just tie it to the hills west and let it go round. Mm. <laughs> um, where will people find out more? Uh, well, there's this event. Yep, uh, you've got a workshop coming up as well in November. Yes, coming up on the 15th of November. So, I guess if people want to find out more about the Soldier on 
and Story Right Pathways networking event, they can check out either the Story Right or Soldier on social media pages. Or RSLSA. So yes. Yeah, yeah. Even. I think Veterans SA is also um, oh, good. shared as yeah. well. So the, they're a very a handy coverage. ally to have. They are. They are. Uh, yeah. They're good. Yeah. Uh, so we've got the workshop coming up in November. Yep. What does that entail? Because I know you two have been through it. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Um, so it's basically a one-day workshop where we will teach um, yeah, transitioning veterans or people who have already transitioned how to translate their military skills and experiences into language that makes uh, civilian employers see the value in your skills, like your military skills. Yep. So well, I guess it's kind of like for my, for me it was instead of saying I drive a tank, yeah. it's like, oh, actually I can do this, you know, I can work in high pressure time-sensitive environments, all that sort of good stuff that goes yeah. with coming out of the field. Uh, what about technology? Is, is defence technology pretty well up there with what's out in the civilian world? Um, uh, more so in some cases, I Yeah, realize. I was going to say, yeah, do, you want, yeah. do you want the digger answer or yeah. the objective <laughs> answer? Yeah. yeah, fire away. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think from my own, from my personal experience being a black hat or um, Army Corps, a lot of it was lacking, so the most recent vehicle we had was the Bushmasters. Um, but then the next recent one to that was the Aslav, which I think ended service late 80s, early 90s. Yep. And then we were still running around in M113s as well, albeit a new version. Them I know. Yeah. Well, those I know. Yeah. yeah. Oh, fantastic. Do, do people have to believe enough in themselves to realise that they are really in reinventing themselves or be prepared to reinvent themselves? It's not going to be the same as it was. It's going to be a new you. Um, I don't believe you're fully reinventing yourself. I think you're just learning to tell your story Adapt. in a different way. Yeah, and tell your story in a way that civilians are going to understand it because I think from our last workshop we got told by a special guest mentor that we are special and, oh, wow, there's this whole um, not quite magical but different component to it because we do and are exposed to things that people that haven't gone through defence aren't. So there's that mystery about it. So I guess it's just translating that type of work into something everyday people can relate to. So it's not quite adapting. I, would, mm. oh, I guess it would be adapting, wouldn't it? There definitely is a um, component, a big component of shifting your mindset, though, yep. from that defence way of thinking into... Stop using acronyms. Yeah, those TLAs. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. And SOPs. You got any SOPs That's in this it. country, <laughs> in this company? Mm. Um, Keith, there's one other thing I wanted to raise, too. Um, a few... Months, two or three months ago now, um, Portia and I, uh, along with Lee Bowes, um, we went to the um, to a transition seminar at the other level. Remember that? Now yeah. you guys, RSL was there. Yeah. Um, us, Defence Force, Wolf, Defence Force Welfare, were there. Um, Story Right was there. Oliver came with me. Yeah. Yes. Yep. <laughs> now that's on again, Portia, on the the thirty first of October, I believe. Yes, it is. It's so, being uh, held at that late oval. Again. Yeah, good. they're yeah, very, very good, good too. Can I ask if either of you have photos of the seminar? Photos you could share because no. I'm, I'm, I'm looking for no. a transition seminar photo, and the one I found belongs to Defence, and they they won't give me permission to yeah. use it. But I wanted to <coughs> just show some of the things we attend. We didn't oh. take any last time, and our time, people didn't take any either. Yeah, we can this time for you if you'd like. <laughs> there, there will be others. Yeah, hmm. oh. We'll, we'll do that. We'll get some photographs and, for and you. Look, I, it'd be nice if the RSL's in it, but even if it's just the crowd and an overview yep. of the stands and all that kind of thing. So uh, for people who don't know, a transition seminar is where people who are generally within defence go along to find out what is what can life be afterwards. And, yeah. Uh, it, it, unfortunately, it's not, it's, it's not open to the public. It's for defence personnel. Right. Yep. But yeah, it's still worth letting people know about. And yeah, you're dead right. That's exactly what it's for. Yep. Uh, very good. Well, close We're to, nearly closing time, so I'll say thank you to Portia uh, and Oliver and David. for And guys, thank you for coming in. Yeah, no worries. Good night. Thank you for having us.